This is the first review of the Kingsford Stock 849 Smoker and Griller. I just finished my first cook on this and I have to say I am thoroughly impressed. The amount of smoke that was rolling through this was awesome. And I finally got back to my roots and that's cooking on an offset smoker. Now I wanna discuss with you why I decided to buy this one. So if you're looking at this smoker, cause I don't think it's a grill, I think it's a smoker. If you're looking at this, I want you to set the right expectations. So we're gonna go over the pros and cons of this smoker. So real quick background, I went to Home Depot, I bought this myself. Uh, I am not sponsored by Kingsford in any way. Further background, my bias towards an offset smoker goes back to when I first started smoking food. All right, I bought a cheap $180 char griller and I used that thing every weekend, all weekend long. And I absolutely love playing with this firebox all weekend. I mean, come on, who doesn't love playing with fire? Anyway, Traeger came along in my neighborhood and I had to get one, right? With a push of a finger, I have easy food, set it and forget it. $800, my food tastes great at $180 smoker. $800 smoker is gonna taste even better, right? Well, for a few years, I really enjoyed my Traeger, but there was something missing. And for me, the playing with the offset, playing with the fire, controlling your smoke was something that I missed because I gave my $180 smoker away because I thought, I'll never play with this again. I have an $800 smoker. Well, finally I decided I have to get my hands on another offset smoker. So there's my reason for wanting to get another offset smoker. And I can tell you right now, I'm thoroughly impressed because the first one I had was very thin metal. Now granted, this is very thin metal also, all right? But it comes with a lot more bells and whistles than I was expecting. Because the first one I got was just a round barrel here, a round barrel heel here, a round barrel here, and it didn't even seal like this one does. It had gaps, it had a lot of smoke loss, a lot of airflow. Uh, so let's get into the pros, in my opinion, and then we'll get into the cons. All right, right off the bat, the first pro is the look of this thing. This has a in my opinion, a party look. When you're cooking up, when we finally can hang out with our friends again, your friends are gonna wanna immediately come over to this smoker and say, what do we have here? All right, most smokers are, you know, they're the barrels. This at first threw me off with the box shape, but now I really like the angles and I really like the counterbalance. Does it help? Sure, it helps a little. It mainly helps set in the back here, but does it you know, make it super easy? It's light steel to begin with. All right, now I bought gaskets to really seal this thing up on Amazon before I bought it. But when I unboxed it, and I do have an assembly video, so you can watch that right up here, and I'll leave all the other videos related to this stockade in the description below. When I got this and I saw that it already had a gasket, I knew instantly that Kingsford put a lot of thought into building this smoker. Right. The other things they did, assembly. That smoker I built seven years ago, one bolt was this big, the next one was this big, the next one was this big. They were all different sizes. This one, they knew we're gonna have all of them the same size. There's a few nuts that are, you know, two to four of them that are different sizes, but everything else, when you're putting this together, the bolts are the same size. That makes it very easy, in my opinion. The other thing I really like is this is a big offset. I filled it up with charcoal and I put some logs in there. And I haven't cut my logs up yet, so I'm dealing with some pretty big logs. I was worried that this was gonna to get too hot and I was gonna to start to get the burn marks, chip away any paint that's there, 
And then what happens next? Rust. All right. So far, I've gotten this up to 400 for a burn off video and there's been no paint chipping away, no forms of rust spots yet. It's still early days. I'm sure I'll have a day where the temperature spikes, but the damper on here has done a very good job of controlling that temperature. So I've been very happy with that because my other one had big gaps, like I said, so controlling the temperature was hard. This one has done very well for the you know couple times I've already gotten it fired up. And I will say I am extremely happy with the heat. One thing right off the bat you're going to want to get is some type of wireless Wi-Fi thermometer. This gauge right here is up top. Your food is here. So when I cooked my first ribs, which had a ton of smoke in them, uh, the temperature up here was saying 300. The temperature here on the rack was two, 205. This was 210. And this was like 235 because it's closest to the smoke box. That's the way it works. Real quick, I want to talk about smoke loss. All right. So like I said, they put the gasket around to help seal in the smoke, which is really convenient. Now on the sides here, there has been no smoke loss. Down here, there has been a little bit of smoke loss. Do not worry about that because when you open this lid, you're gonna see how much smoke is in there. Don't get all upset that smoke is coming out of here. All right, it's going to be okay because this chamber is going to have so much smoke in there. Another thing is you will see depending on how your seal goes, but most likely you're gonna see this, you're gonna see a little bit of smoke coming out of here. Don't let that ruin your experience. Be prepared. There's going to be smoke loss on pretty much any smoker under $1,000. Unless you're trying to do competition, I don't know why you'd even look at this. All right, but we're all backyard grillers and this has been great with the food I've already made so don't worry and don't get upset that you're having a bit of smoke loss. So a couple of the cons in my opinion. All right. Number one, it says Kingsford Stockade 49 smoker and grill. In my opinion, just like my last offset smoker, I will never put charcoal in this main firebox here, main chamber, I should say, and do burgers or do steaks here. I do not consider this to be a grill, except for right here. They have grates that you can put on right here and you can do your steaks right over the direct flame. I recommend that. You're gonna get great food. You can smoke your ribeye, reverse sear it, and get some smoke flavor, bring it up to temperature, and then throw them right on here. I do not want to get this with direct heat, in my opinion. If you want to buy it to do big, big cookouts, you can, you can do that. And actually join our Facebook group and let us know how it goes. Because I, for one, am only going to use this as an offset smoker. My other reason I wouldn't want to use charcoal or wood or anything in this main area, the grate is down here and it's this wide. So if you're cooking a lot, you're gonna need two or three bags of charcoal to get it going for a good big cookout. When I've had my parties in the past, your friends typically don't have an offset smoker. So when you do ribs on here, when you do chicken, brisket, uh, pork shoulder, pork butt, they're not used to having that rich smoky flavor. So they're gonna want you to use the offset the way it's meant to be. They don't want to come over for burgers and hot dogs on this thing. So when you're doing the initial burn off, please careful with following the manual that comes with this. They tell you to add lighter fluid. They tell you to do your burn off in this main area. I don't agree with that one bit. All right. I did my burn off and I'll attach a link to the video to be a true offset smoker. All right, so that's the way, in my opinion, this should be used. 
But if you do want to try it the other way, let us know how it turns out. I, for one, will never do it that way. Some other cons, all right, or things to be aware of. Uh, this is thin metal, all right? This isn't a $1,000 smoker, offset smoker. This metal is going to warp because of the expanding heat temperatures, the cold in the winter time. You, this will eventually start to droop. You're gonna put you know, one pound, two pounds of charcoal in here. You're gonna put wood in here. It's going to get hot. This metal is, a little, is thin, so it will tilt. I'll show you a better picture in a second, but I put a jack under there just to keep this from drooping too much. So you might wanna think about that when you're buying this. You might wanna order a jack, and I'll put a link in the description so you know what I'm talking about, to keep your firebox. You wanna help support it because you're gonna be putting in so much weight with the type of fuel you're using, wood or charcoal. So that is something to be mindful of is the thinness of the metal. Like I said, if you wanna spend $1,000, please have at it. But for a less expensive, this thing is getting the job done and I look forward to toying around with it. I don't consider this to be a really big con. Some people do. When it comes to your firebox, all right, you're going to, they actually provide you a charcoal ashtray. All right, as you can see, it's only about an inch above the bottom. So as your charcoal falls, ash is going to build up here. All right, some people I've seen have already complained there's not enough ash room underneath. That's fine. When I refuel my wood, what I do is I put some tongs in here under and I just move the ash back and forth, creating another airflow. For me, that's a pro because I enjoy going out and tinkering with the fire. All right, if I want set it, forget it, I'll push the button on my Traeger, which I still have, and I'll let that do all the work. But for me, this is about going outside, enjoying that smoke smell, playing with the fire. So for me, that's not a big con. I don't mind that. The other thing I'm gonna try is I'm going to try to flip this upside down and do just logs on the top to see how that works. So we're gonna experiment a lot of different ways with this. That's something I can't do with my pellet smoker. Back to pros, once you pull that out, you can literally just take a brush and brush out all the ash. It is really easy to clean the ash out of this compared to my other smoker I had where, where the metal grate was locked in place. So I had to get the tongs to try to pull, scoop out and that was tough. This, you just pull it out and you brush out all the ash. It's super easy. Other cons I'm trying to think of, you know, I, I think I, setting the right expectations. It is thin metal. So like I said, this can start to tilt. You're gonna wanna get a jack or something if you care about the appearance. I know they attempted to put a bracket down there to help with that sloping, but I also think you're gonna need a jack further out helping support the weight. Because the last thing you want is two years to go by and all of a sudden this is looking real droopy and sad looking and then you're starting to you know, regret buying. I would rather up front do the right proper precautions so that in a couple years you're like, wow, this thing could end up lasting me 10, 15, 20 years with the right proper care. I mean, besides that, I'm really excited I'm very happy with my purchase. Um, and just a sidebar, I actually bought this online and I got so impatient because it was gonna take three or four weeks to get here and they didn't give me a confirmation date. So I ran to Home Depot and I bought the last one in our area. And we actually have five Home Depots in our area and all but one store had sold out. So it's clearly becoming a very popular model. Anyway, I'm building this and my neighbors came over to help and I let them know I have another one coming and I gotta ship it back. And the one neighbor said, no, I'll buy it off you. He looked at the metal, he looked at all the bells and whistles that come with this and he says, I want this. So I don't have to ship it back, one of my neighbors is buying it. So that kind of gives you another perspective of, you know, when you're purchasing this, when you're smoking with this, 
your neighbors are going to be coming out of the woodwork, smelling the food. It's passing the look test. Uh, so for me, it's aces all the way. But if you want more information, we did start a Facebook group with this Kingsford Stockade 49 Smoker and Grill. And we're already a group that's growing and we're sharing ideas already about what to do about certain modifications. Um, so that's one thing. If you're looking for more information besides just these YouTube videos, feel free to join our Facebook group and join in in the conversation.